hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to make one of these uh, things we call a power distribution block so basically this is what you would make um, uh, if you wanted to install like uh, lighting or any electrical device around your car and you want to keep uh, all the wiring neat and uh, put all the fuses together and the relays uh, it's basically like your like a fuse box in in what a normal car would be um, and yeah it just just makes everything a lot easier when it comes to wiring and yeah so today I'm going to show you how to make one of these it's actually very simple to do despite what it looks like um, so we'll get on to it and I'll show you how it's done okay so what I'm going to use here is just a just a clipboard or basically any sort of hard plastic surface or you know somewhere where you can mount it all I just thought this was the cheapest option just buy a clipboard uh, plastic clipboard it's pretty thick strong material and you can use that to mount it okay so then we what we've got is we got a fuse block terminal so this is where we're going to be connecting all our fuses uh, that goes the positive from the battery goes there negative to the chassis goes there this will be your neg or all your negatives go all your positives will go here and they'll be all fused okay uh, and then uh, what we got is got this distribution blocks this is basically uh, what we're going to be using to plug a switch and a positive from say the light bar onto here so basically you're, you're plugging in here is the switch and then on the second one you're playing in the power the red or positive wire from the light bar so when you hit the switch and uh, it triggers that signal to the relay then the relay sends it back to here to the power your light bar okay and then uh, what we're going to be doing is using our relays here so you can just in this case I'm only going to use five to connect to it this is a 12 terminal block uh, so yeah you can connect up to 12 on there but I'm going to only going to be using five in this example um, the reason I got that I mean I, I could have gotten a six terminal one and made it neater but um, I just want to leave it easier to upgrade later if I want to add more I can add more if I want to connect other positives to it that don't need a relay necessarily I can just connect them to there it just keeps everything neat in one thing okay so now I just gotta play around with it and see how I'm gonna lay it out so basically what I want to do is have this in the middle have all my relays on this side a distribution block here so basically and then just leave this space free so if I want to add more relays or just connect power to it, I can just do that and just have that space there. And then I'll just make it all neat and cut it out and bolt everything down. Okay, so on the relay, you can see there's all these numbers on there. And I'm going to explain to you what these uh, numbers actually mean. So uh, what we're going to, you may notice on this one, there's actually five uh, it's actually five wires that are going to be coming out to this one but we're only going to be using four for this exercise we don't actually need the fifth one the fifth one being the, the one right in the middle so we're going to remove that one and just use the four outside ones so just to let you know that that one here is going to try and point to it not that one is number 30 that's where the power that's where the power goes the battery power so this is where the battery power will go the ground will go to this one which is number 85 that's where your ground will go and then the switch is going to go to the one on the left hand side which is number 86 which is this one 
that's where your switch will go so your switch will send the signal to that wire that connects to the switch and then the power will come out on this one which is 87 the top one that actually goes to the light bar so the switch sends the power to this one which sends the power to your light bar okay guys so here you have the finished product now so as you can see I ended up cutting the board I uh, bolted all these down with screws and on the back I grinded off the screwed head so it's as smooth as can be at the back um, and then I'm just gonna basically um, bolt this on into my car where I want it to go um, so just so you can see here with the wiring um, just go over it again so basically you got the um, so you got all your earths tapped onto this side of the of the fuse block terminal so that's all your earths uh, and they're all coming out of the um, the 85 slot on the relays so the 85 is where all the earths go and then remember we said the uh, number 30 was the battery so number 30 is the battery so all the battery ones um, are the ones that will be going on to these ones so this is where the fuses will go as well so this is basically where the power from the battery will come onto this one to pin number 30 pin number 85 will be your grounds so you got those two and then basically you, then all you got is these two which the yellow one which in my case is uh, pin number 86 so 86 goes to your switch power and then this one pin number 87 the red one on my case will be the one going through to what you want the power to go so you say the light bar so um, just to give you an example how you would use this um, basically once this thing is installed in your car and uh, say you want to put a light bar on there all you have to do is get the positive wire from your light bar your positive will go here where the power is coming out so in my case the red one so you put the positive cable there the negative just goes down to an earth anywhere in the car for the light bar so in the light bar case you, you got you know the red and black wire coming out of it which is the positive and negative so the positive you connect it to here negative you just connect it to the ground wherever you want so once you put that positive there that the one next to it which is the yellow wire this is where you're going to connect your switch so usually you have a switch connected on your dash and that's where you want to turn your light bar on with so you connect your switch to that one and you connect the power for the light bar on that one so as soon as you hit that switch that switch will send power to will send the signal to here oh, the power will come back and will go into your light bar basically it's going to be really simple to set up so anytime you want to install something all you got to do is connect the positive and the switch power there so you don't have to worry about getting wiring harnesses with relays and things like that every time you want to install lights on your car it just makes it really easy and keeps everything in, in one board so you want to install water pumps light bars winches whatever um, so basically all, all your electronics fuel pumps or whatever it's yeah it's just going to be a, or, or you every time you want to add an accessory to your car all you're going to be doing is running a positive and running a switch power and that's it so it's a running two wires and keeps it really simple and then putting a fuse to go with that okay guys so now I'm going to show you what it looks like once um, you know it's all been installed and up and running so as you can see here I built this uh, battery box just from some MDF boards and um, basically I'm just housing all the wiring and everything inside here uh, I got my switch panel running battery meters um, so let's have a look what it looks like so here yeah, I just pull it open and there you have it so as you can see there's your board you just made okay 
So as you can see here, this is the the panel with all the fuses. I can lift up the cover here. Let's take the cover off. So you can see you got all your fuses here. So I can um, anytime I just want to hook something up, I can just connect it straight to the power here. So one to the power and one to the earth. And I just hook it up there and, and put a fuse on it. And for the items like the lighting, uh, stuff that I want to install, that I want a relay to be running it. I put it on this side, so this is the side that's running all the relays. Got all the relays running here. You got the power and the switch going here. So basically, um, so if to install, say, the light bar or any of the, any lighting, basically one side is the power, the, the, the red wire from the light. The other side, the other one will be the power going to the switch. So this wire will be coming from the switch and this one will be coming from the light. Now I'll put all my switches here so you can see all the wiring here is for the switches. These are those switches running here as you can see all them there. Um, so each individual switch has its own you know, earth and power wire. So I run a wire from say for one of these switches I run the red wire to here to the switch. Um, and the other power wire, which is for the, um, say for the lights, um, I'm running it here, and that goes um, all the way to the lighting that's on the roof. Uh, all my earths, I uh, put it on this side. That's mainly all the earths from all the relays here. Um, so typically, um, it's all up and running now. Um, there, there's my battery there. So this box is just covering that up. Um, I do need to tidy it a bit more with the wiring. But it does uh, make it a lot cleaner now and easier to install things. Got my uh, DC to DC uh, charger here as well. It's a red out charger, 25 amp. Just all I need to charge this battery is only 115 amp hour battery, AGM battery. And uh, as you can see, that that's basically what you would use this board for. So it just, just makes everything neater. I put it on right on the lid here, so you can see I put these um, latches here to, to close it. Um, so it just pushes on, and it's pretty, pretty hardy. You actually need to put quite a bit of force to open it. So it, you know, I've tested it off-road and everything and it, it's never come to open. And as you can see, I'm not running any back seats here. So it basically, um, I can just remove this uh, platform here. That's my water tank underneath. Uh, if I remove these, I can put the back seats in. The back seats, uh, lay up right against the box so there's plenty of room there to put the seats on uh, there's my fridge over there that's also hooked up to the box I got this water pump hooked up to the box now I have a look at the um, switch panel here so this is all right in there you got your battery voltage you got um, a cigarette lighter socket your standard one um, and this side you got a USB sockets. So you got two USB sockets, which are really good uh, charging phones or devices when you're at camp. Um, they're all up and running. They're all running from this battery here. Um, and you can see here on the switches, uh, this is the lighting I've hooked up. The first one went the water pump. So the water pump is this one. So I can just flick the switch and it runs the pump. Uh, this one, so I've labeled it as uh, on the back. I got two lights, so you got these two for the back. That one is for the driver's side, it's a single light, passenger side, it's a single light. 
I've actually put three lights on the passenger side. So you got the single one here and you got the double lights there on the passenger side. So I can either just turn on one light, uh, turn on two lights or turn all three of them on if I want them all on that side and that's where my awning is. So that just lights up the awning space. Uh, if I wanted to I could just switch on all the lights as well. I can just switch everything on. Have it up and running, see what it looks like here. So you got one light up there. That's a driver's side light. You got the other two at the back here. And those two. And you got the three lights here. Where you see my awning there. So basically I rock up at camp, I pull the awning out, I can switch all these three lights on then I have really bright illuminated area and if I just want to just switch one on I can just switch the middle one on or flick the other switch and switch the two outer ones on um, so yeah you can see that there um, you can see the water pump that's, that's the tap there for the water pump I'll do a video on that later so you can see that one up and running but yeah, so you see the um, all the switches there all hooked up to that power board. Uh, that's for my solar panels. So basically, when I want to hook up the solar panels, I uh, just put the solar blanket out and I hook it straight up to this one. I don't need a solar controller because my DC to DC charger controls all that. It's got a built-in MPPT controller. So yeah, so uh, as you can see, that's uh, what we've made there today, and it just makes it, um, yeah, it makes it a lot cleaner. You got uh, that's the power wire. At the other end, you got the earth wire, which is underneath all that, and um, yeah, basically you just hook up the power, the the red power wire here, the earth wire there. And that powers all this up and then then, then you can just cook every anything you need to to all these all these spaces here put the fuse that you need to to run each individual device um, for my lightings all those lights so i'm running this just a five pump um, fuse because they don't really take up a lot of um, that, that's basically the lowest one i had and they, they don't take up much amperage but you can, yeah, you can size them up to whatever you need. And I also, I got my fridge hooked up to this one, which is a 15 amp one. So I've actually made, a, I'll try and get around to the other side. So as you can see, I put an Anderson plug there as well for the fridge. So that's also been hooked up to that. Uh, there's my um, Red Arc DC to DC charger. So it was um, actually pretty hard to squeeze everything into that little space at the end of it because um, lucky it all fit but yeah it's, it's probably um, it's, it's all good it's all working now so that's that's fine that's all what I needed to and yeah so basically that's um, that's my little setup there uh, I will be making some more videos and especially uh, show you guys about the, the water pump and the water tank running underneath there. The tap running and how I set up my lighting as well. Uh, all the lighting uninstalled and the light bars and spotlights as well. But yeah, for now, uh, yeah, that, that's my little setup. Right, so I'll show you this one as well. That's uh, that's my solar blanket I use. Uh, it's a 150 watt solar blanket. Um, as you can see, there's no controller connected to it. I just simply gotta bring it here. You see, it's run right now. It's 12.8 volts. Just hook it up to there, and then uh, we should see uh, it will start uh, charging my battery shortly.
as you can see it's starting to charge it now it's uh, it slowly starts to creep up um, it's 13.2 right now that's holding a Floyd charge so it's basically um, the battery should be fully charged so it's just holding that just keeping the battery topped up there um, it should go to about 14 volts 14.4 14.5 uh, once it starts charging the battery, but right now it's just holding a floating charge. So basically, you'll be at camp and uh, it should hold that charge um, throughout the day. If the battery starts draining a bit, then it will um, it will kick in with that controller and start charging it again. So as you can see, it slowly creeps up with the terms with the voltage. Uh, eventually, uh, it will just um, the controller will automatically give it the amount of voltage it needs. Yeah, as we can see, it's um, it's already going up slowly. Thirty point five, six, seven. We'll just slowly keep going up like that. And see, it's point eight, point nine. So see, it's getting to the fourteen volts. So this is when it's charging it now. So that's that's giving the battery a good charge now. It's uh, it's kicked in and uh, yeah, it's topping up the battery now. Should uh, should hang around that sort of figure, that 14.8, 14.6. Shouldn't exceed that amount as well. Um, uh, that that's basically that. That's exactly the sort of voltage you would see when you, when the battery is charging. 14.6, 14.7, 14.8. That that's that's the charging voltage. Okay, it shouldn't exceed that. Uh, you shouldn't see anything like 15 or anything higher than that in there. That would just cook your battery. Uh, that right there, 14.6, will probably the ideal one. But yeah, you, as you can see, that controller is just uh, it's uh, maintaining that charge on there. I don't know if you can see those lights on there, it says it's getting a full charge on there. Should maintain that, that sort of 14.6 mount. Then if I, um, I disconnect it, um, that should drop back down. And then, um, yeah, so the battery will just keep the charge. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys, um, do subscribe, I will try to get some new content up, uh, we'll try to uh, uh, do a bit of a walk around in the car as well, I'll show you a few other things I've installed, uh, be doing a bit of maintenance on that in a minute, so I'll try and get some videos on that, um, but at this stage, yeah, yeah this is, uh, thanks for watching, uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you next time.